Hey, what's going on, thirders? Paul the Third MC here, and welcome back to another Texture Pack Tuesday. So today, I'm going to be showing you guys Deathscape. I'm currently using the 64-bit version, but you can also get it in 32 and 16. Now, you're going to need MC Patcher or Half to find to run this, but otherwise, this is an awesome Texture Pack to by Defined. So yeah, let's just dive right in and get started. Okay, guys, so here's the house. As you can see, we have the wooden stairs, planks, slabs, just like the usual, we have cobblestone, this is glass pane. Now right here we have a sandstone and brick walkway with some epic looking cake, I may add. Now here we have a dispenser with all your goodies. <laughs> now as we walk through here we have one in plank flooring. As you can see, here's the orange cat family. Now one thing I really love about this texture pack are the paintings. The paintings are just such high definition, this one really, it's awesome. So anyways, here we go, we got a chest with all your music disc, book, Enchantment table, some beds, pistons in the back, furnace, the workbench is awesome because it has all the tools on it, very cool indeed. So right here we're brewing some awesome stuff, looks like we got some strength. Here we got a cauldron full of water, and finally we have a note block and a jukebox. So up here are some bookshelves with a minecart running on top. So yeah, let's go look at the trees and sandstone. Here we go, we got the regular sandstone, hieroglyphic sandstone, and smooth sandstone. Sandstone stairs on top. The sandstone looks really awesome in this texture pack. Every block has its unique high definition feature. It's very cool. So here we have the tree with its stairs, slabs, planks, redstone lamps in the corners, red and yellow flowers in between. Here's the pine tree, birch. Let's get those tools out of there. And finally, we have your jacked up jungle tree with its fully grown cocoa bean and vines on the side. So yeah, over here we have your wall of wool. Pretty basic, just looking like some nice looking wool. Here's a little patch of grass. Over here we have your garden, surrounded by the smooth stone brick, with your sugarcane, fully grown wheat, pumpkin, melon, clay. Clay looks kind of cool actually, and a cactus. Very realistic. So as you can see we have sponge in the water, and I guess let's just fly over for today. We have your huge mushroom with, on top of mycelium with these small mushrooms. And over here, we just have some squids in the water, and finally, as it loads up, some animated lava and water going into obsidian and cobblestone. So yeah, let's go check out the ores, the animals, and then we can end off this texture pack review by looking at the creative inventory and the nether. So yeah, let's get started. Right here, we have your regular stone brick, some crumbling stone brick, and some mossy stone brick. Over here, we have some iron bars, cobwebs. Down, down the stone brick stairs we go with a stone flooring. Whoa, okay, looks like a spider spawn in here. Don't know how that happened. Let's get him out of here. Okay, get out of my texture pack review. Anyways, here's diamond ore with diamond block, gold ore with gold block, iron ore with iron block. The ores look very cool, actually. Mossy cobble, bedrock, gravel, redstone ore with redstone wire, lapis lazuli ore with lapis lazuli block, some coal, here we have some emeralds with their emerald block. And then finally we have some ender frame with the Mayan ender and some end stone. So yeah, everything looks awesome in this texture pack. Huge credit to Defined for making this. As you see, all the animals have different textures. Like this pig, look at that face. That wasn't really a good shot of it, but they can either be brown or black and have tusks like that. Or be your regular cute pink piggy. So looks like the chickens have gone rogue and escaped, but as you can see over here, you got your white chicken, your brown chicken, look pretty basic. Gonna have to fix them later. They can get along talking to. But even the mushrooms are different. As you can see, you have the black and red mushroom, white and red, very cool. They look kind of relaxed, I don't know what's up with that. Your wolves, they can either be silver or black or brown, as you see here. Over here, we have your cows, they can be brown and black or black and white. And then over here, we have your sheep. Looking as cute as ever, constantly eating grass. So yeah, here's a minecart. And let's go on to the nether spawn. As you can see, we have netherrack with some nice fire animation smoke here. Down here, the whole thing's made out of nether brick with some iron bars and iron door. So yeah, let's see if I can hit this button. There we go. Dang it. It's hard in F1 mode. I'm like, okay, there we go. So as you can see, we have glowstone that's in the corners. Glowstone may be my favorite block from this texture pack. I just really like it. But overall, the text is nice, everything looks really cool. And the one nice part is, you don't lag at all. So, here we go, we have some soul sand with some nether wart. Now, let's spawn some mobs. In here, we just have some mob eggs. 
I want to show you guys because the mobs actually look really cool. They have a lot of different uh, variations, so... Oh, look! <laughs> no comment. Okay, so here we have a regular creeper, creeper with a TNT heart. Those are the two variations of creepers, as far as I'm aware. Let's just kill them like this, it's easier. It's easier that way. Skeletons look pretty much the same. They can either be like that, nice, a light skeleton, or a dark skeleton. But overall, nice shading. It's so much easier when you have a nicer sword to kill these little buggers. Where, where do you go? Okay. So now we have some spiders you've already seen, but it can either be polka dot, regular, like that, with no. Or, let's see, where's the one I'm looking for? They can be striped like that. So yeah, spiders look cool. Come on, get out of here. Oh man. Okay, so finally we have zombies. Zombies look really cool. They can either be like that in a camo army suit, in a regular suit like that. Come on. Where's my other zombie? Where are ya? Or just a plain Steve zombie like that. But overall, all of them looks really cool. Okay, let's just go to peaceful. There we go. Ten times easier. So over here we have cobblestone stairs, glowstone, nether brick fence, the basic. So let's go see the nether fortress. As you can see we have the nether in itself. All its lava and scariness. Okay, so over here just your basic nether fortress. You walk in. Bunch of nether brick. Kind of dark, but overall basic. Then if you look out here, you just have your nether. Still loading. <laughs> Anyways, let's just head back to the regular world where we can talk to Samuel, see how he likes the pack, and look at the creative inventory. So one thing I just want to mention, guys, is that I'm currently in the process of getting a partnership. I just applied, and then now I'm just waiting to be accepted. So I just got to work out that contract. I actually might have just gotten an email. I have to check it. But I think that I'm all good. I just have to sign a contract. So videos might be a little slow, just an FYI. I'm going to put it on an update video, so no worries. Anyways, here's Samuel and his TNT. In case he's bad, he gets exploded. Exploded. TNT looks cool. Let's see, Samuel. What do you think of the texture pack? Because you're all high definition and stuff. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm Good talking to you. Okay. So finally, guys, I'm just gonna show you the creative inventory. Here's the armor. Looks pretty cool. Okay. So I'm just gonna scroll down like usual, and you guys can look. Everything looks very nice, really distinct, but overall I'm going to be using this texture pack a lot. So yeah, I highly recommend checking it out. If you do like it, definitely go, say, Paul Third MC Hent, yeah, just get my name out. Also, it looks pretty cool to be a part of the Third Brigade here. Oh well, I went fast there. I think I got excited. <laughs> Anyways. There we go, that's the creative inventory. I'll just scroll up once more. But, yeah, just download the texture pack if you wanted to check it out. You're going to need Optifiner MC Patcher once again, but really that shouldn't be much of an issue. Anyways, that's going to be it for this texture pack Tuesday, guys. If you have enjoyed, please leave this video a like. These take a long time to make, and every like really I really appreciate and lets me know if I'm doing something right. Anyways, hope you guys have a great texture pack Tuesday, and I'll see you next week. Peace.